So we've got four Game 6s on tap in the NBA playoffs tonight, but let's go back in time to last night's games. Just a couple of thoughts on them. If you have Brooklyn in the series against Chicago, okay, with the Nets coming home to play game number seven on Saturday night, you got to feel pretty comfortable. But do you really want to be betting the Nets straight up like everybody and their brother is going to be on Saturday? I mean, consider that Chicago last night was a flu-ridden team, minus two starters, a starting center who's playing on feet that are as brittle as glass, and the Nets barely won. Okay? And then you look at that Golden State Denver series. I mean, listen, I'm not surprised the Warriors pulled off the upset. In fact, I gave you Golden State as my uh, NBA free pick winner last night. Nine and two run with those NBA free picks. Now, did the Nuggets overcome a 18 point deficit and make a game of it in the final two minutes? Absolutely. But what happened to Denver was what had been happening to Denver all season long. The team simply can't hit. Free throws, Nuggets, 28th in the league in terms of free throw percentage this season, in terms of numbers of converts. And last night, fourth quarter, 5 out of 10 from the line. Game, set, match. Plus, you look at the Nuggets. This is a team that just cannot play on the road, which I mentioned in yesterday's uh, uh, free pick analysis. Am I that enthralled, however, with Golden State going forward in the playoffs? Absolutely not. Again, like I said yesterday, you know, the Spurs and the Heat are sitting back in their rocking chairs going, please, let these teams play Game 7s. What do we care? Okay, we've got another free pick coming up. We, me, I've got another free pick coming up in the NBA. Uh, plus my thoughts on the Indiana Atlanta series. The free pick, of course, is going to be on the Knicks Celtics and a uh, free baseball selection as well. I've got a home favorite that I'm willing to play on the run line to get them as a slight home dog. All that and more coming up in just a moment. This, of course, is going to be your Friday video report, and I've got four big promotions for you going today. First one, the half-price play of the day for the second straight day, turning to Brian Rosica. Yesterday, you got his 25-dime winner on... Um, mm -mm -mm. Who was it? Uh, <laughs> on the Nets. Yes, you got his 25-dime winner on the Nets uh, for half price. And today, he's got another 25-dime play. This one on the Pacers and Hawks. And it's his 25-dime winner, number 10 out of 11. And you can get it for half price. It's his overall winner, number 26 of 40, in fact. And that half price code is his first name. And remember, that's spelled Brian with a Y, B-R-Y-A-N, Three four five zero Brian B R Y A N three four five zero no space between the name and the number and that'll get you Brian Rusica's play today twenty five dime winner number ten out of eleven on Indiana Atlanta the side for half price Brian since joining the site back on February fifth almost three months forty six and twenty two making a ten dollar better fourteen thousand and thirty dollars. Um, Let's talk about me for a minute. Why not? It's my video report, right? So yesterday I gave you my latest 15 dime release in baseball, which matches the biggest baseball play of my career for the $5 play of the day. And it scored as the Red Sox won 3-1 to one at Toronto. Always helps when your opposing starting pitcher, in this case the Blue Jays' J.A. Happ, uh, walks like seven batters in three and a third innings. Always definitely helps your side. So the Red Sox won that game for me last night. You got it for $5. I've got another 15-dime release again, matching the highest rate of play in my career going today. And I'm 14-6 and six with these plays so far this season. It's winning day number 11 out of 14. Baseball winner number 12 out of 14. FYI, if you'd like to save money on either one of my baseline packages, here's a couple of money-saving discount coupons codes for you. You can get uh, 30 days of my action for for uh, $130 off the regular price if you use coupon code DeMarco130. Again, you would save $130 uh, off the package price of a 30-day package, which is normally $449. So you're going to get, in essence, 30 days of action for $299 if you use that coupon code, again, which is my last name, DeMarco130. Or... If you want to get seven days of action, normal price is $189. Save $50. Get it for $139 using, again, DeMarco50. DeMarco50 as your coupon code. And remember, guys, if you have any instant rebates or that are applicable, they apply. Uh, if you happen to be in a long-term package already with me and you want to add additional action, additional days to your package, uh, you can do that as well and take away, uh, advantage of those money-saving discount coupon codes. Again, all the coupons are right beneath the uh, video as well. And today, uh, let's look for another $5 play of the, $5, $5 play of the day release. 
turning to Scott Delaney. Now remember, Delaney on Sunday delivered an 80-dime uh, winner for you on the Tigers, 8-3 to over Atlanta in the Sunday night game, his interleague uh, game of the month. Uh, you got that free as the charity play of the week. If you haven't made your donation yet, please do. You can read down beneath the video report. Uh, a couple of nights ago, you got another Five dollar winner for him from him, a uh, fifty dime underdog on Cleveland plus a dollar twenty five over Philadelphia. Well, tonight he has his uh, Major League Baseball major wager winner number eight out of eleven. Say that three times quickly. Um, it's a forty dime dog dog shocker on the nighttime card, and you can get it for just five dollars. You'll save $55. Normal price is 60. Save $55 simply by using this coupon code. Get ready, it's a hard one. Scott five. Scott and the number five, S-C-O-T-T -T and the number five. That'll do it, and that will get you Scott Delaney's play today for just five little dollars. Hey, congratulations going out to um, uh, Craig Davis. Uh, hit his third straight 50-dime winner this week, 24-12 and 12 run with them, as he completed a 4-0 sweep with his plays in the Golden State Denver series with a side play on the Warriors last night. Uh, tonight... He's upping the ante, not only going for winning day number 18 out of 26, but his second biggest NBA release of the season, 75 dime winner number three out of four, your Indiana Atlanta side. Keep in mind, this is just as strong as his fifth straight Super Bowl winner on the Ravens. And all sports, $10 better is up $5,880 since November. And Matt Rivers uh, going for winning day number 31 out of 48 with his second biggest basketball play this year, 400,000 star winner number 14 out of 17, and that is on New York and Boston. Got a love on the phone. Hung up on that SOB, whoever was calling me. Got a love on the phone, rings in the middle of the report. Anyway, um, that'll do it for the who's hot and the who's not portion of this report. Let's get to the free picks, okay? Uh, let me take a look at your NBA action. Listen, I know everybody thinks that Boston is going to have its last hurrah. Um... Decent movie starring Spencer Tracy, by the way, as a Boston mayor back in the 1950s. But that's beside the point, just in case you're on Jeopardy and Alex Trebek hits you up. Who starred in The Last Hurrah? There you have it, Spencer Tracy. Okay, um, I just don't, I'm not convinced the Celtics are going to get the job done here tonight. Okay, listen, they pulled the huge, huge upset in game number five, okay? And Carmelo has been dreadful shooting from the field the past couple of nights. I understand that, or past couple of games. And J.R. Smith, after the one-game suspension, he was dreadful in game number five. But I always talk about the law of averages. Guys, is Carmelo Anthony going to continue to misfire on 75% of his shots? Is he going to continue to misfire on 90% of his three-pointers? Is J.R. Smith, instant offense all season long, second leading scorer, coming off the bench, averaging almost 19 points a game, is he going to continue to misfire on 90% of his shots as he did in game number five? I don't think so. Listen, the Celtics are an old, aging team. They've struggled to get in the offensive flow. The only reason that they're in this series still is because the Knicks have allowed them to stay in it. Knicks have to win tonight. I think the Knicks are a bargain based from price at minus two, so that's how I would play it. Now, let's talk about the Pacers Atlanta Hawks series. I am a perfect um, 3 0 with my plays in this series so far, giving you free selections. Um, but gee, has it been really that hard? The home team is 5 0 straight up and against the spread. So the Hawks are playing tonight. Indiana's lost like 10 straight games at Atlanta. Uh, they haven't won at Atlanta, I think, since I was three years old. But I like the Pacers tonight. Listen. This Hawks team is dysfunctional. This Hawks team, I told you, they play like poodles, okay? They just don't have the heart to really battle uh, defensively all the time. Indiana has definitely laid a few eggs here on the road uh, throughout the uh, regular season, the latter part of the season. But this Hawks team, you know, no matter what they do in the first round, Larry Drew, their head coach, is probably getting canned after the season. So last hurrah time for the Hawks tonight. Do I like the Pacers as much as the Knicks? Absolutely not. I told you I'd have an opinion on this game. I think Indiana is to play, countering all the trends. Um, I, in fact, though, still like the Celtics as my favorite of the NBA free selections tonight. So that's what I'm going to go with. Now, in baseball, I'm going to take the Braves on the run line. They're getting about $1.15 tonight at home against uh, the New York Mets. Listen, I've uh, had tremendous success this season already going on or against the Braves' Mike Miner, who started the season very strong, uh, winning three of his first four starts, but I just went against him Sunday night when he and his worst outing of the year, uh, getting pummeled at Detroit, giving up, um, oh, I think he gave up five runs, including a couple of homers, six runs and a couple of homers, in an 8-3 loss to the Tigers in six and two-third innings on Sunday night. And I know the Braves' offense has disappeared the past couple of games at home, um, but 
They're playing the Mets, okay? The Mets are going with Sean Markham. He's made one start this season. He got uh, hit hard against Philadelphia last Saturday at home, four innings uh, pitch, giving up three runs and five hits. Then he was forced into pitching in relief in that uh, marathon game at Miami on uh, Monday night, uh, gave up two runs, and I think he lost the game in one and two-third innings of relief in that contest. Uh, Miner still has a 3.13 earned run average. Uh, the Braves have absolutely dominated the Mets in this series. Um, listen, the Mets have lost five of their last six on the road, okay? Meanwhile, the Braves have won seven of the last eight meetings at Turner Field, uh, smashing nine homers and uh, scoring 52 runs in that eight-game stretch. They've won 12 of the last 14 meetings overall, and the Mets simply aren't scoring runs. They've scored a total of 29 runs in their last 10 games. So I'm going to go with the Braves on the run line as your free baseball selection. That'll do it, guys. Best of luck, and I'll catch you again on Saturday morning.